Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Today we're going to be showing you the Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Lindo in the Riviera Maya area of Mexico. This resort offers a nice blend of luxury, relaxation, and endless entertainment for the whole family. Have a look around the resort with me as we explore the highlights and give you our thoughts about our experience staying at this resort. The Ibero Star Resort Complex is about a 40 to 45 minute drive south of the Cancun airport. It is a group of five resorts that share a shopping plaza area as well as an 18-hole golf course. You won't necessarily have access to everything, so you need to know which resort within the complex to book. We have already made a video about the Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Maya, so next on our list is the Ibero Star Selection Paraiso Lindo. Ibero Star Lindo is rated a 4.5 out of 5 on TripAdvisor and a 4.7 out of 5 on Google Reviews. It is a fairly upscale resort within the Iberostar complex that caters to families. In my opinion, the biggest draw to booking here is to access the water park and beach area that it shares with Iberostar Maya while saving you a little bit of money. Let's start with the Lindo accommodations. This resort offers spacious and nicely designed rooms providing a comfortable and inviting environment. Lindo offers junior suites with different locations such as tropical views near to the pool close to the beach and they have either one king bed or two doubles. The rooms are all around 484 square feet or 45 square meters. And if you've watched our Ibero Star Paraiso Maya video, you will notice that the rooms at Lindo are smaller than those at the Maya. Lindo also offers bigger two bedroom connecting suites to sleep larger families. And there are room options to suit most size groups. The rooms are very clean and equipped with modern amenities, including flat screen TVs, mini bars, private balconies or terraces, and offering views of the different surrounding tropical gardens, pools, or the beach. In my opinion, the rooms are not as nicely finished as those at the Maya, but we still found them clean and comfortable. Now, let's move on to dining options at the Lindo. This resort boasts a variety of restaurants each offering a unique dining experience. There is the American Seafood Grill Under the Sea, which is a personal favorite of mine, and I just love the decor and the ambiance of this restaurant. There is also a Trattoria Olivetti for Italian, Lemon and Spice Greek Tavern, La Pagoda Buffet Restaurant, and it offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And Lindo also shares two of the restaurants with the Maya, the Prime Rib El Rancho Steakhouse and El Tapatio for Mexican. There is also the Corner Sports Bar that has munchies and drinks and the Coco Snack Bar on the beach. The a la carte restaurants all require reservations and I would suggest making them when you arrive to avoid be being disappointed if it turns out that they're full and you can't get in. At the time of this video, the dress code is smart casual, meaning that men are allowed to wear Bermuda shorts and sandals. And I know this is a big deal for some people. Pants and collared shirts are only required when you're staying at the Grand. We found the food very good. There were plenty of options to choose from, and we enjoyed the variety of different cuisines available. There are 11 bars at the Lindo, but our favorite was the Aquario, which means aquarium for obvious reasons. And it's the lobby bar with a huge aquarium in the center of it. We enjoyed having a drink here before dinner. There's also a coffee shop, the Star Cafe, that has a lot of different coffee and tea, fancy drinks, as well as sandwiches and dessert, and it's open 24 hours a day. The Lindo and Maya share all of the water park areas and pools. It is one of the best water park areas that we have seen for kids at any of the resorts that we visited, and we've been to many. They have a great pool area for swimming and relaxing, but they also have a fantastic water park with slides. This water park will keep both the kids and adults busy. There are water slides, splash zones, a wave pool, and a lazy river. If your kids like to have lots to do, the pool area and the activities that go on throughout the day around the pool will keep them busy all day long. I especially like the layout of the pool area. A highlight of this area is the pool bar Las Rocas that is under the waterfall. 
Yep, they turn the waterfall on and you gotta hop under it to go and get a drink. The pool areas are meticulously maintained and provide a serene atmosphere for unwinding and soaking up the sun. It is a busy area and can get a bit loud at times and that's why we're trying to film in the early morning. There are quiet areas if and when you want to get away from the busyness. If you have older kids, I would suggest requesting a room that looks out onto the wave pool area if you can get it. A unique aspect of the Abero Star Selection Barriso Lindo is that it's part of a larger complex that I was mentioning earlier, the Abero Star Playa Barriso Resort Complex. This means that guests at Barriso Lindo have access to an extensive range of facilities and amenities shared with the neighboring two Abero Star resorts. You have access to additional pools, restaurants, bar, a spa, and various sports facilities at the Abero Star Beach and the Abero Star Del Mar. And I highly suggest taking a morning wander to the other resorts and checking them out. The Del Mar and Beach resorts are situated a bit more into the jungle and thus they have more wildlife throughout their grounds. There are coatis, lizards, peacocks, and flamingos to name a few, and they're really cool to see on a walk with a coffee in the morning. Having the option of experiencing two of the other resorts is a nice benefit if you're staying a week or more. You'll never run out of extra restaurants and bars to try and pools to float in. We found the grounds at Lindo beautiful and well maintained. The staff were very friendly for the most part and attentive, and the activity staff offer different games and activities all day long. Although this resort is family friendly and it is geared to families, it would also be a nice choice for adults and singles. There are nightly shows, such as you would expect, most of the resorts have them, the Michael Jackson impersonator show, Boogie Nights Disco, and fire shows. There's also a paid theatre production at Ibero Star, within that centre complex I was mentioning, and you can buy tickets to go and see that. We've heard mixed reviews about it, so we have not felt the need to splurge and go and see it. It's not cheap. But maybe ask around if other guests have seen it, and decide for yourself if, if it is something that you want to spend your money on. The beach is one of the best features of this resort. It is a huge beach that all of the resorts share. There is plenty of seating and shade. There is a boardwalk that runs behind the seating area, so although the beach is large, it's not very difficult to carry all your gear through the sand. There are beachside washroom facilities, which are really handy, a snack and beverage bar, there's a drink service, and there are tons of activities to do on the beach like volleyball, yoga, and outdoor gym and various water sports. Kayaking, catamaran sailing, snorkeling, and windsurfing are included for one hour per day, but it is not unlimited, so just keep that in mind. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of activities going on all over the resort. If you're traveling with kids, then you should know about the Star Camp program. Star Camp is the resort's children's activity program, and it's divided into age groups of 4 to 7, 8 to 12, and 13 to 17 year olds. The kids can learn to cook, play games, do an adventure course, trampolines, play video games, and so much more I can't even list it here. There's a ton going on to keep the kids busy if that's what you guys are looking for. There's also an 18-hole golf course on site, and golf is not included, of course, but they can arrange that for you at the front desk or with your concierge. The resort is not difficult to navigate. If you have a good look at the map, and you can see that the Lindo basically runs in a line from the lobby to the beach with the suite buildings running in a row along the main walkway. A word of warning though, the Ibero Star sells timeshares, so they're aggressive in trying to get you to sit down and listen to their timeshare sales pitch. And we find this really annoying. We do find it annoying everywhere we go, but Ibero Star is pretty aggressive about it. Be firm about saying no if you are not interested and they will leave you alone. The service at the Lindo can be slow at busier times of day, which is fairly normal for most of the resorts that we've been to. The resorts all share a central shopping plaza or town square style area, and it's an easy walk from the lobby, or you can grab a golf cart tram to zip you over there. They have a taco spot there, which I highly recommend. There's a dessert spot for ice cream and crepes, and also another coffee shop. These are included in your all-inclusive rates. There is a Star Wars themed nightclub in this area called Galaxy Nightclub and it is for guests 18 and over. There are some stores for shopping with clothing, gifts and souvenirs, not included of course, and just in case you need there's also a medical center. We found the prices to be very high for the merchandise and souvenirs so we never bothered buying anything, but because the food and drinks and ice cream are all part of your all-inclusive package, it's worth going over to check it out. 
A very impressive feature that Iberostar as a company is doing is their environmental responsibility initiatives. Many resorts say that they are environmentally responsible, but when you're at the Iberostar, you see evidence of it everywhere. There are no small toiletry bottles or water bottles in the room. Everything is large, glass, and refillable. There are no single-use plastics anymore, anywhere. In 2020, they eliminated single-use plastics from all of their hotels, and now they're working towards not generating any landfill-bound waste by 2025 and becoming carbon neutral by 2030. 100% of their fish and seafood is responsibly sourced and there are programs throughout the resort that focus on improving the health of the ecosystems, specifically the mangrove sanctuaries in this area. It is the most aggressive environmental initiatives that we've experienced at any of the resorts that we have ever been to and it's really impressive. Overall, the Ibero Star Lindo is a very nice resort that offers a good blend of family-focused fun, relaxation and entertainment. With its clean rooms, lots of dining options, a water park, and the shared Abero Star complex, it's a good destination choice for families, couples, and even solo travelers. Lindo is a great choice if you're looking for a resort that has a wonderful beach and fantastic pools and a water park. It shares all of the water facilities with the Maya, but because the rooms are a little bit less luxurious and smaller, you can save some money if those are not priorities for you on your vacation. Some people enjoy all of the bells and whistles and other people would prefer to skip the little extras but stay a little longer and it is entirely up to you. We hope that our videos help you to navigate the many options of all-inclusive resorts. Your vacation time and your money are hard to earn and we started this channel to help other people find the resort that best fits what they're looking for so their vacation is a great one. We pay for all of our own trips and the resorts that we visit never know that we make videos about our experiences staying there. If this is of value to you, then please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. And thank you for watching our videos. We will be back with more videos about all of the resorts that we visit, as well as some tips and tricks to get you through the airport as easy as possible. Bye for now, and we'll be back next week with more new travel escapes.